see you, Neo. Hi. Hey, there you are. How, How you are you? Baby? Oh my God. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I love you. I love you back. Good to see you. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you since Juneteenth. Yeah, yeah. Been that was minute. great. The Hollywood Bowl was amazing. You were amazing. Oh, my God, you rocked. Oh, you, you rocked the, the world, yeah. not the house. It was more than <laughs> the world was watching. What a great, what a great event, you know? I so Indeed. admire Jesse Collins and all of them for bringing us together, and you were just spectacular. I was happy to be a part of it. I hope, I hope they do it again. I hope it becomes an annual thing. It does, mm -hmm. but I am so grateful to you that you are coming to Dada to the, this is our first big event at the Rhymes Performing Arts Center. Mm -hmm. Since we moved in in April, you'll be performing in the Wallace Performance Space. And this is our first big fundraiser to talk about your beginnings, you know, the way you dance and sing. Who was teaching you when you were a kid? Who? Oh man, um, <clears throat> as far as dancing and performing, my first teacher was, uh, was the TV music videos i was i was uh, yeah i was watching you know michael jackson of course and and, and all of them cast just kind of mimicking what i saw i didn't start working with actual choreographers until like until my first actual record deal so um um uh what? if you remember my very first video what tanisha scott was uh was my my, my love interest as well as choreographer in in my very first <laughs> video and uh yeah man from her i went to to jamaica and, and I, I kind of been rocking with jamaica ever since but um yeah initially i was really just just seeing what i was seeing and and, and mimicking it as best i could until until somebody you know got me together the right way yeah. oh boy you dance with just style and grace i would think you've been training since you were like 10 years old <laughs> I swear. but that is that's the spirit of the dance and the spirit of the talent that lives inside of us I, I that's what we're looking at when we look at you that's amazing amazing thank you for that thank you for that appreciate that for real i'm excited man i'm excited about this event i'm excited i'm so glad you're coming you know everyone's so excited to see you i, I mean room is gonna be packed it's intimate it's a space we probably have just a tickets left if they're interested but it's 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 just glorious when you come i can't wait for you to see I can't wait for you to see our space and the kind of community we are in and with and the consciousness that we're building and the creativity that we're building and the people that have been us. Your coming means everything. These young people, they're gonna wanna come to your rehearsal and I'm gonna have to keep them out. That's what oh. they wanna come. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. No, we do not we do not open the stove before the food is done. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I'm so glad. So tell me, when you think about, you know, the the world and where the state that it's in right now, mm. don't you feel good that you do what you do to that you uplift people all the time? Tell me about how you're feeling about what's happening in the world and where you're living with that. I was I was just having a conversation with a with a uh, an artist friend of mine, uh, who, who shall remain nameless. Uh, you know, going through kind of a tough time right now, and um, you know, I was I was saying to this person, uh, thank God that we have music. Thank God that we have the outlet that we have because you know it's the unfortunate reality is not everybody does. You know, uh, people go through what they go through daily. The world seems like it's getting worse before it's getting better, and I just every every day every breath i take I, I just thank god for the gift of music the gift of dance the gift of just the the ability to to take all of that that stuff that you pack down all day long all week long all month long and just release it and just get it off you you know because as, as i'm as i'm sure you know it can be toxic you know to hold that stuff in so i thank god for the ability to sit down and write out my thoughts and, and just get it out of me you know uh put on some music and just just let my body do what it's gonna do and then after i'm done i don't i don't feel that that heaviness on my chest no more you know what i mean so i i, I just i thank god man i thank god for it on a regular basis yeah yeah that i love hearing you say that you know when i went to uh I travel globally. I know you do too, but I went over in a mission for the American government, for the United States government, mm. India. 
And when I was in India, when I went to the dance studios there, they prayed before they went into the studio. For oh, wow. them, dance was part of their religion. It was, it is, it is sacred. Uh -huh. And I um, loved that so much. You know, so I always call Dada my church. That's what I call Dada. I call it my church. Uh, I like it. I like it. I, because we're raising young people that's what we're doing every day and like you say we are the answer to the, all the ugliness and the hate is the joy and the beauty and the expression and the you know getting it out and staying healthy you uh -huh. know uh, and the it all has not been our friend man yeah yeah I mean we've been over the last over the last couple of years we've definitely been through some some hardships and and you know, it, as I said, it's, it's looking like things might get worse before they get better. So I would just advise everybody, everybody, everybody watching right now, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, find an outlet, find a way to get that pressure off because because it, it's it's toxic. It will harm you. You know what I mean? If it's it don't necessarily you don't necessarily have to be a dancer or a singer or a songwriter, whatever. Just just find it. Find some sort of release whatever it is if you got to go in a room by yourself and just scream for 20 minutes do that but get it off of you get it out of you because you, you have to you have to it is it's it's a matter of life and death it genuinely is yeah, it's really health but it is mm -hmm. it really is you know i have a whole program where i've been teaching and i have a whole program where i teach elders mm -hmm. uh people I have a program where I'm teaching bad women and their children, and I have to, I have to testify that I know dance is a transformative art. It is something people find a new energy or new uh, voice that maybe they thought they lost. Mm -hmm. and, a new confidence, the whole night. Yeah. And you know, we were given IT classes live through the whole pandemic, and still, That's dope. just been. Um, it's wonderful. I, I know exactly what you're saying. You're right. Everybody listening should follow that that wonderful idea that you just to find that space, connect and let it go. Mm -hmm. Let let it go. Well, honey, I know I can't wait to see you. I know I just know I don't know what you're singing. I don't know what you I can't wait. <laughs> Everybody it's my favorite Neo song. I don't know. Because the fact that I know that you're gonna be in the audience, I, I'm gonna show out. So uh, if uh, this this is gonna be one of my, I'm I'm claiming it now. This is gonna be one of my better shows. How do you not show out? Debbie Allen is an audience. No, you you gotta go ham, all right? If you normally go ten, you gotta go twenty tonight. That's what it is. Well, honey, we're so grateful you're coming, and it's gonna put a whole nother imprint on our whole studio that you are knowing us with our very first big performance that people are coming to and the beginning you know we're gonna keep doing stuff you know we're doing hot chocolate nutcracker in yeah December. and i wish you could come see that we'd love to have you come see it and then in february i'm planning a community carnival i'm really planning a carnival block okay, okay. Where, where in february in early february or, or you know middle, middle middle end of february yeah are you yeah. around are you We'll talk when you get I, here. I may we'll be. That's that's why I was asking. That's why I was asking. February, uh, we, we move moving hard for the rest of this year on into January, and then right at the top of February, we sit still for a second. So that's, that's why I was asking. I'm, I might actually be around. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna find you. Find them. We'll we'll be seeing each other really soon. And I just wanna just give you more love and love and love until you get here. And thank you, thank you for coming. And we can't wait to see you in our space. It's amazing. I love you and I will see you soon. Mwah.